Good evening everyone. Welcome back to the Brain Dead Breakdown. And today I'm taking a look at the iconic drumming behind the summoning. Sleep token song breakdown on Drumio. Now previously they did the 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 long video, uh, you know, and uh, that went down well, so it looks like they did another one and uh, and I'm all for it and this time it's just the whole summoning song breakdown. So, so I'm, I'm going to take a look at that. Um, I really enjoy listening to two talk, uh, listening, like seeing him drum, like just the little nuance. It's an offering. It's, it's like, it's, it's like he's doing an offering again, but, um, yeah, I always really enjoy these videos and, and I'm not a drummer by any means. I would like to learn, but you know, but, uh, I love sleep token and just getting a little bit of insight into the uh, techniques that go into making the songs is always good by me. Um, yeah. Should we get into it? This is the summoning breakdown. This is an offering from our third album, Take Me Back to Eden, entitled The Summoning. During a section on this song, where specifically there are no drum parts, I added a live edition of a drum solo, and I want to break down one section of that. What's happening in this section is a group of three notes played as right-left kick. Typically, this would be counted as a triplet format. What I'm doing here is effectively counting this as 16th notes. So I'm playing series and groups of three over a field of four, which gives the illusion of the voicing itself modulating. An additional section within the solo is an eight note sticking pattern of right, left, right, left, kick, right, left, kick. I play this twice through and the voicing changes with each repeat. Before I demonstrate this piece for you, a transcription-based offering is available at the link below. Once again, this offering is called The Summoning.
here we go. Here we go, baby. Oh. Get to see it close up. Got to see this at Wembley live. Now we get now I get to see it close up. Like, I don't even need the sexy part of the song after that. I've already came. Fucking hell. Like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can't even speak properly. I can't even. You know, fuck it. It doesn't even matter. I, like, this is sick. I'm going back. Like, it's just that last bit there. Right? I recognize that it's about to happen because I remember seeing the shoe at the bottom, uh, the, the like the... Uh, so I'm sure that there could be a lot of drummers coming into the comment section telling me who's better and all this shit. Whatever. That's not what I'm looking at. What I enjoy right at this particular moment is just there's just that particular moment of the, it's the fluidity of the movement mo movement i think i can't even speak two's fried my brain bruh right it is the fluidity of the movement within the speed right that bit <laughs> there's this but there's things that like you do you do as a musician that just feel satisfying to you you know and i'm not even talking about the sound necessarily or anything it's just in the actual execution the movements you make to pull it off it's the same on guitar for me same on piano or keyboard and i'm only but, you know, there's certain things that I pull off and it's just like, and yes, it, when it sounds right, great. But it's like the physical, the mechanical feeling, you know, like the, the physical act of doing it. And that moment just like, just seems like one of those to me. And then there's this one he's done. There. Did I mistake you? It's like that, just that moment of soaking it in after having to get back to the job at hand. You know, like. Did I mistake? 
And then he goes back. It's the, it's the, it's the moment of so soaking it in. Like the, uh, and then just get, yeah, all right, at split second, and then, all right, back to the task at hand. You know, it's just, sorry. There you go. I've had my fuck. I've had my fanboy moment. Let's 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 continue. <laughs> Oh, well fucking done, mate. Like, <laughs> oh, like, like, I don't even, I don't even really know what to say. You know, like, I just, I enjoyed the hell out of that. You know, like, he's, he's, I've, he's, he's one of my favorite, he's probably my favorite drummer at the moment. You know, I enjoy watching him a hell of a lot. And like on other videos, I've had people coming. Oh, what about this guy from like X metal band or whatever? I'm just like, bro, but it's, it's the reason that I like him is because he's not just a metal drummer. And and look, don't take that the wrong way. Just a metal drummer. Look, metal drummers are a bit. It, it's one of the most physically taxing drum styles. Physically taxing. But that. But I. But the groove, man. Like the reason I love too is because it's like he has he he can go when he needs to, but that he never lose seems to lose the the groove. And like for the most part, it's like there's, a, oh, and I love that. I love that man. Absolutely love that. Hell yeah, brother! Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Subscribe for more like this and comment down below if you'd like to join the discussion. Patreon.com forward slash brain dead breakdown for exclusive content such as Second Listen and Mum and Son React. Go over there and check it out. See if you'd like any of it. But um yeah, as always, I have been Brain Dead. Thank you very much for watching. And hopefully, catch you in the next one. Peace.